Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and this is So Much Sewing. This channel is all about sewing. So if you are as obsessed with sewing as I am, I hope that you will like what you see. Click the notification bell, click the like button, click the subscribe button, do all the clicking, and then hopefully you'll stick around and see more of my videos that I will produce this year, 2024. Uh, this is my first video of the year. I hope everybody had an amazing New Year celebration doing whatever it is that you wanted to do, whether that be dancing on tables down at your local, sitting on a beach around a, a campfire, a bonfire, maybe watching some um, fireworks displays, or if you were like myself and my husband at home, with making sure that all the cats and the dogs were inside and that the TV or the music was loud enough so that they couldn't hear the fireworks going off because if you have animals you know that a lot of times they do not like fireworks. We've got some animals that don't mind fireworks and some animals that mind very much so we made sure that they were all good on New Year's Eve. Um, so yes, and I hope you've got some great plans for the new year. I feel like this is going to be a great year for me. Anywho, this video is all about some of my favourite makes from 2023. There's no scientific thought gone into this. I basically opened up my closet and went, yes, I wore that a lot or I love that so much, or there's just something about each of these pieces that I'm going to show you. Um, actually, I'm not sure how many there are at this point, but um, I'll just work my way through them and hopefully the video won't get too long. I'm not wearing anything me made today, sorry. This is just actually something I thrifted. Um, it's very, very hot and sticky today. Um, I've been out and about and my air conditioning doesn't work in my car so I'm all sticky and scrunched up. There's probably wrinkles everywhere but hey ho, this is me. Anyway, let's start with my very first favourite item that I made in 2023 and that's the Yvette dress by Stylark. I started off making it um, out of a old bed sheet that um, we were no longer using. It's a linen bed sheet and I thought that I would make a twirl out of this linen bed sheet. Well, I love the darn thing so much and I think it looks fantastic. Let me just grab it for you. I haven't got any pictures of this at the moment so I'm going to have to take some pictures. Oh, I've got a few but no, no really good ones I don't think. But this is the linen bed sheet. It, it has had some wear, but it's not threadbare or anything. It's just a top sheet, and we tend to not use a top sheet. It was part of a set. We generally just use the, um, you know, the one with the elastic around it, the fitted sheet, and throw a duvet on top. So that's the way we roll. But so this is the Evette dress here. Now, I'll put a picture in of the Evette pattern. So you can see that in the front here, this has been cut straight across. because it's supposed to have a V in it, but I messed that up. So I ended up just cutting it across here. Um, but I love that version anyway. It's got a little slit and a little wooden button. Um, what I did for the length, because the bodice is supposed to be longer than that, uh, come down sort of like that, Sorry, I hope you can hear me. Actually, that's something else I'll mention. I've got the air conditioning on in here because it's so blimmin' warm. So I don't have my microphone connected because my microphone is not directional and it picks up every sound, which is why whenever I start filming, I don't know why Chris goes and bangs around in the kitchen. So you can probably hear whenever I'm filming lots of banging and crashing in the kitchen because the microphone is so powerful and not directional. So air conditioning on, haven't got the microphone on because I didn't want it to be too noisy. So I'm just using my um, microphone on my camera, which is why I'm sitting so damn close. 
so hopefully you can hear me now where was I going with that yes I was saying I hope you can hear me behind the dress so because the bodice was meant to be longer and I've actually shortened it um, well actually it was the skirt portion really that got shortened I decided that the skirt was too short for me once I had made it so what I did is I just can you see there's a seam here and I've used this trick many times since because I think it's a fantastic trick I've just attached a rectangular piece of fabric to the bottom I probably am not showing this to you very well I'm sorry okay wrinkled it it's been sitting in my wardrobe I haven't got it out yet this summer so that's this, the bottom of the skirt and I've just attached a rectangular piece to the bottom just to give it extra length and I did this in another make that I will show you in a minute as well um, these have got lovely pleat in the sleeve here I just love everything about this dress the bodice fits me so nicely I love the weight of wearing this this linen dress I just fell in love with this dress so so much I absolutely adore it it really is one of my favorite things that I've probably ever made and I loved it so much that I went ahead and I made another two versions this version is made in a uh, what's with fairy godmother fabric it's called lunar trees it's a viscose I basically did the same thing with the bodice I cut it across straight because I just thought it worked so nicely on me I cut it across straight like that and with the Yvette dress you'll see that there are panels in the skirt um, cut on the bias I didn't do that with this version I just put a plain skirt I just cut it on the fold and I just made a plain skirt and I love this version as well I put um, what did I do with the sleeve I used the same sleeve but I made it longer and put elastic in it this also has been in the wardrobe scrunched up so please excuse the wrinkles but I know I do have photos of this so I absolutely adore this version of the Yvette dress as well I should just mention that I got this fabric from the Dahlia Society way back not long after she first opened her store really um, so that's been well well over a year now and I saw this pop up on her website and I just absolutely loved it so I went ahead and bought some and this is my final version of the Yvette dress oops this is made in a um, I can't remember the the manufacturer of the fabric but I got it from Harmer and Huff here in New Zealand and I think the print was called Anemone something like that Anemone I love this version as well I put actually I put the closet core NYX sleeve on this version I had made some closet core NYX um, tops around the same time as I made this and I just decided to put it on this dress and what I did the same bodice cut across at an empire line I've got actually the same button as I've got on my original um, gray version but this one I basically just took made a skirt using the full width of the fabric and gathered it up and put it on here I know I've got photos of this so I'll put those in as well and this also is one of my absolute favorite makes of 2023 I just love wearing um, big swishy dresses I am just a big dress fan I love wearing my slim pants and a long line tunic over the top as well but I just I really do enjoy wearing a dress I love lots of um, oversized I love these gathers they're not I don't think they're too too much um, and yeah so that is my third version of the Yvette dress by Stylark love love 
love love love I should say that I've worn those three dresses several times each throughout 2023 although I also have to confess to the fact that I now have a wardrobe that is pretty well groaning under the pressure of everything that I have been making and cramming into it so I don't wear every item as much as I would like to. I have toyed with the whole capsule wardrobe concept so that you're wearing each of the items much more frequently. I don't think I'm there yet. I, you know, As I say, I have been thinking about it for a while. I do watch a wonderful lady called Emily Wheatley who I will link her channel below. She's all about a minimalist wardrobe um, and so I have been watching her for a while and I get really excited about the whole capsule wardrobe concept but I just love making clothing and um, so I'm struggling with that at the moment but anyway that's probably a discussion for another video this is all about my favorite makes of 2023 keep on track Catherine so I don't think anybody who has watched me previously will be surprised to find out that this cuddle up cardigan made in my viscose jersey knit viscose crepe jersey knit from Lady McElroy is in the mix I don't think anyone will be surprised about that I love this cardigan so much I have worn it a bunch this is one thing that has been worn a bunch um, I've also made a wintry version which is packed away at the moment because we're sweltering in the middle of summer right now but I have made a wintry version I will see if I've got a photo of it somewhere I've worn that an awful lot as well this cardigan is just so easy to throw over anything that you're wearing um, it is quite a long cardigan and I appreciate that not everybody likes a long, it's sort of, well it's a very cocoony shape so I think a lot of people could feel swamped in it but I love it, I love it um, and you know I probably will make another one of these in a plain fabric. This obviously is very distinctive and not everybody is into bugs and snakes and to be honest I have to sort of not look at those. I just love the colour and I love the Cuddle Up cardigan so much. It is a Trish Newbery pattern. Trish Newbery is a New Zealand um, pattern designer and um, as I say I think I've got one more in me for the foreseeable in a plain fabric, possibly a um, sort of a rayon jersey or bamboo jersey, something like that, nice and, and drapey. Another favourite item of mine um, from 2023 is the Merchant and Mills Field Address. This is made in absolutely gorgeous. The colour is called Caper and it's a sort of a mid-weight uh, linen that I got from the fabric store here in New Zealand. I don't know that they will have any of this exact fabric left because I did get it a while ago. If they do, I will link it below. But they've got so many linens, beautiful linens. You will find a linen that you like the look of, I'm sure. So the field address. Pockets here. Um, I used the Merchant and Mills ribbing that I picked up cost a fortune but I think it's really worth the effort and the expense of putting this in. This is the only thing I'm not keen on it you know with standard ribbing that seam is hidden. I suppose you could make it decorative. No you couldn't because I don't know how you can make that look better than it is. Uh, I was thinking about putting some binding on it perhaps. Uh, sounds like a faff nobody sees that anyway do they so love 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 this is another dress where i extended the length of it because i find sometimes merchant and mills patterns the lengths are a bit odd for me personally so i cut it out as the pattern um was and then i just added this extra length onto it here which i adore the next favourite make of mine from 2023 is the So Liberated Joni shirt. This is my second version. 
Uh, this is a um, lovely lightweight cotton that I got from the fabric store. I think they may still have the blue version left in stock. Uh, I may, may be able to link that below for you. The, this Joni shirt, I love it. I originally made it in a um, really gorgeous uh, grey cotton flannel which is packed away because it's wintry but I know I've got some photos of that so I will put, pop them up here and this is my second version, my summery version. I just love, I don't know if you can see the detail on that because of the um, print. I love this. I, I love that it's a sort of like a western style. It's got that yoke shaping at the back. Um, it's got curved hem on it. Longer at the back than at the front. It's got a proper cuff on it. I was very proud of myself for making the placket and cuff. You know, technically not the most beautifulest job in the world, but I'm really happy with them because um, this one and the grey version, well the grey version was the very first time I had done it and this is the second time, so I'm really happy with it. I haven't worn this yet this summer, we've really only just started our summery weather, that's what happens in Auckland, it's a bit different around the rest of New Zealand, but in Auckland it really, I always say it's almost two seasons rather than four. Um, it goes from not, not hot, not hot, not hot, boiling, boiling hot, just like that. Um, and then it goes from boiling hot to not quite so hot, not quite so hot, and then really not very cold at all. Um, we've got a very temperate climate here in Auckland, which, which is a good thing. But um, it does mean that you haven't got the four seasons to wear all your beautiful clothes. But so, long story short, I haven't worn that this season yet, but I am looking forward to wearing that over the next few weeks. Now we get to my Takara dress by Seamwork. I love this thing so much. I love it, love it, love it. This is my first version made in a rayon jersey. Not sure where I got that from, so won't say. This one is just a little bit longer. It, um, well no that won't make any sense, it, it does come to the knee, it's a little bit longer than I would like I think, um, but this is just so comfortable to wear, who doesn't love wearing a rayon jersey, it's oversized but not too oversized, um, all of these um, garments that I'm talking about. I'll link all my videos below if you're interested in going and having a look at them. I, I have obviously made um, changes for my body shape, um, for the pattern. I made some changes to the sleeve here. Uh, you may be interested in it if you're wanting to make the Takara. I would pay attention to that, that area. Um, and I also actually have, I've only got two affiliate codes and Seamwork is one of my affiliate codes. So I'll link that down below. And if you are interested in the Takara dress, I would say snap it up. It is an amazing dress. Um, you can make it out of something heavier weight for wintry times and light and drapey hair for sort of warmer, warmer days. I wore this a lot with my um, Cuddle Up cardigan, the Lady McElroy Cobra Corsage. I wore these those two together a number of times. Um, and so this is just such a great pattern. I love it. And I love the blue one so much that I made this racy number. Look at that. I love the colours in there. And obviously this isn't going to be to everybody's taste. And to be honest, I'm generally not into graphic prints like this, but the colours I adore. Adore, adore the colours. I don't necessarily need to have people with umbrellas on my clothing or cars, but I do love these colours. So I made this just a little bit shorter, um, fiddled around with this um, sleeve here, as I just mentioned, fiddled around with, with the, that there. But yeah, this is another dress that I love so much. I wore this with leggings and my tan ankle boots. Um, I've worn it with black ankle boots, 
uh, long boots, every kind of boot, every kind of boot. I love it. And so this video won't be too long. I'm going to leave it here with my final make. Actually, there's a lot of stuff that I've made throughout 2023 that I really love and I wear. Actually, this is not my final make. There's one more after this. I promise, just one more. Um, so, yeah, I've worn... I basically mostly wear Me Made. I know I'm wearing Ready to Wear today, but mostly I wear Me Made. You know, probably at least 80% of the time, I would say. Um, and so I do get a lot of joy and satisfaction out of that and um, yeah like I said earlier I'm just struggling with trying not to make too many things I mean you know it's my hobby and I you know I really enjoy the process of sewing I don't want to stop sewing and I'm not going to stop sewing and I'm not going to stop producing videos um, but I need to just think a bit about how I can produce clothing without overproducing clothing, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is my second to last. This is the assembly line almost long pants. Now I have a bit of a love hate with these. Um, generally, overall, I love, 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 and I've worn this version several times. This is a, a sort of a heavier weight, um, wintry version. I love this. It's a stretch cotton from my stash. I can't remember where I got it from, sorry. And, um, I did struggle a little bit with the fit. What I struggle with these pants are the way you attach the elastic because you you have your waistband before you fold it over I don't know what I'm doing with my hands you have your waistband before you fold it over you sew elastic to the waistband so you're stretching oh and it's got a flat front on it here flat front and then you've got your gathers at the back and round the side. So you sew the elastic to your fabric so you've got to stretch it out as you're sewing which can get difficult, can get tricksy. So I find that instead of doing my push on and on with my sewing machine I put the foot treadle in and I do that and that works out a little bit better. So I find personally I find that tricky however I have used the method where you make your casing and then you again with the hands <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing where you make your casing and then thread the elastic through I've tried that method too for this thick elastic which is five centimeter elastic which is I don't know two and a half inches no two inches two inches I think um, but I like that this is so stable the elastic is sewn into the seam it's not going anywhere so I need to just suck it up buttercup and stop complaining about that because I love that's the cuff on the bottom same deal I love the effect of it so I did say at one point that I wasn't going to make these again but I'm going to make these again I've got some fabric lined up that I will make these in a lighter more sort of a summery well it'll probably end up being a bit more autumn-y probably by the time I get around to making them um, but after I made this first pair I did make sorry I did make another pair out of a stretch denim now the, the pattern doesn't call for stretch fabric but I just found that I for some reason made it out of the stretch cotton in the first place and I I love stretchy pants you know it doesn't have to be like a ponty full-on stretch just a little bit of stretch in the pants I really like that and I feel like it works quite well for this pattern even though the pattern doesn't call for it so this pair is a um, stretch denim pair I haven't worn these as much as the black pair I've worn those quite a few times uh, yeah I haven't worn these as much but I do love these as well and I've got as I say a third pair in the works as well and the very last pattern I shall chat to you about is my Victoria dress by the French speaking Canadian company known as 
because I can't pronounce it. The English um, translation, I think, is Annie and Her Seams. And it's a Victoria dress. And this is my second affiliate code. I've only got two affiliate codes. Um, but I think they're for really amazing um, companies, amazing patterns, especially um, is why I got the affiliate codes in the first place. Um, so this Victoria dress, I will show you my absolute favorite version, which is a, um, a knit that I got from a local shop near to where I, I live. It's not all, um, what am I trying to say? It's not all natural fiber. There is a lot of acrylic in there. I don't care. It feels snugly and delicious. I love wearing it. It is my most favorite winter item, I think. Probably that in my Cuddle Up cardigan, which I think might be teamed with this dress in, um, in one or two of these pictures. So th those two items are probably my most favorite winter items that I made this year. Um, I also made a top version and again it's not 100% um, natural fibre, there is some nylon in there as well. But I, I've, I'm finding I tend to not mind that for winter items, to have a bit of acrylic or nylon in there. Um, we don't live anywhere cold enough that I need to have you know, natural fibres. And um, I think acrylic and, and nylon can be very snugly and warm. And it also helps, especially if you're pairing it with merino for longevity. So you can treat your merino a little bit meaner, you know, perhaps wash it in the washing machine, that sort of thing. But anywho, I digress. So the red dress, I just love that neck. I, it's so snugly. It's, oh, I cannot tell you how much I love it. Um, and the blue top also, I enjoyed wearing that many times throughout last winter. So that is a bit of a look through my closet at the items that I have worn the most or loved the most throughout 2023. I've got some great plans coming up for some great items that I can't wait to make. I have made a fabulous dress that I can't wait to show you. That may well be my next video. Um, and so, yes, that is it. 2024 is here and I'm really excited about it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your company. I thank you for all your comments throughout 2023. I've loved the two-way conversations that we have. I've loved catching up with some of you in, in person, in real life, um, and having chats on Instagram. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with my channel and how um, it's progressing. I hope you are happy with it too. I hope I'm going to see more of you throughout 2024. And um, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Bye for now. See ya.